Good morning, eighth grade. We got lesson 36. Gonna be doing problems one through 20. Learning target, I can multiply and divide integers. Um, if you're asking yourself, what does this word integers mean? Um, you do already know integers are just numbers, uh, counting numbers, including negative numbers. So another way we could reword this learning target, maybe a little bit friendlier, is I can multiply and divide negative numbers because we already know how to do positive numbers. Um, so right here, make sure this gets in your notes. Positive times a positive equals a positive. Positive times a negative equals a negative. Negative times a negative. Those are going to cancel each other out, and this is going to give us a positive. This is the same exact thing um, for division. So positive divided by a positive, like 10 divided by 5, is 2. It stays positive. The only one you really need to worry about that is going to be new is this one and this one. If we have two negatives, they cancel each other out. If we have one of each, it's going to be negative. So let's take our first one. We have negative 10 times negative 5. Well, right off the bat, I know 10 times 5 is 50. If you don't, you should. You can use a calculator. Um, two negatives, negative times a negative, becomes positive. So that's going to stay positive 50. Those are going to cancel each other out. Again, 10 times 5, 50. Simple enough. One positive, one negative, negative 50. Hopefully, we're starting to get this. 10 divided by 5, again, we don't got to worry about those negatives quite yet. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Two negatives are going to cancel each other out, so we're left with just positive 2. Positive 10 divided by 5, or divided by negative 5, is going to be 2. One positive, one negative gives us a negative. Number 5, negative 1 to the fifth power. Um, so same exact thing. What this means is negative 1 times itself five times. So negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we were to do that, we could count these all up. But those two, these two negatives would cancel each other. These two negatives would cancel each other. And I'd have one negative left. In other words, since this is an odd number, this is automatically going to be negative because we're going to have that one extra. So we know it's going to be negative. Well, one times itself is just one. So this is negative one. On the flip side, if I were to have one more negative one and have negative one to the sixth power, this would be an even number and that would cancel each other out. Two would cancel, two would cancel, two would cancel, and we would get negative one to the sixth power is just one, positive one because two negatives cancel each other out. Four negatives would cancel each other out. Six negatives if we have that even number. Uh, last thing we're going to do is we're going to distribute this. We have 3x times 2x minus 4. Usually PEMDAS, we would do parentheses, but we can't combine 2x and negative 4 because they're different. They're different terms, um, and we can't combine that. So we're going to take this 3x, and we're going to distribute it and multiply it by both those, 3x times 2x and 3x times 4. Well, 3 times 2 is 6. x times x would be x squared, so we have two of them. 3 times 4 would be 12, and we have x. We have 12x's. And we can't combine x squared and 12x, so that is it. Again, you're going to be doing problems. 1 through 20, please reach out to me if you need any help. Good luck, 8th grade.